Greetings, flesh creatures. It is I, Megatron. On behalf of TFYLP, I want to congratulate you for listening to the most refined collector podcast on this miserable little planet Earth. Yes. Here you'll find knowledgeable fans discussing every aspect of Transformers and beyond. Now, enjoy the show while I continue my path to complete conquest of all of you miserable biological entities. Predacons, terrorize! Hello, I'm Rick Alvarez and this is Cut the Tape. Welcome back and if you're joining us for the first time, Welcome to the show. So on this show, I take an opportunity to open a couple different things that I may not have gotten around to opening. And uh, I like to compare and contrast the packaging on them. So uh, tonight, I thought we would open some non-window boxes. And what I mean by a window box is that, look, there is no window on this box. You can't see the toy. This is a window box because you can see clearly see the toy inside of it. So tonight I thought we would do uh, a Masterpiece toy. In this case, I have uh, Wheeljack MP20+. Plus. I thought we would take the time to compare it to a Hasbro Select Generations toy to see what the guts of the packaging are like. This is a Powered Asher Zadar. And then I thought maybe we should compare that to an older generation select figure so i have uh, combat hero megatron and i have the uh oh god i don't even know who this is the sarcy uh no this is a uh, fengal which is a uh, grotesque so i thought we would compare and contrast them and uh for third party uh i happen to have uh, an extra compass so, since we only have one third party item, why don't we start with that first? Now, usually with uh, Transformers, I have to get two of each. One to keep open, one to keep sealed. Uh, if it's an expensive item, I tend just to get one if it's not a window box. Since it will still look the same way displayed if it was sealed versus if it was open. So... Uh, let's see here. Box is, uh, it's got like a silky feel to it almost. This is a high gloss, uh, visual of the, uh, of the figure as it would look like if it were, say, animated. On the back you have, uh, pictures of the actual toy. And a little bio. Alright, so this is, uh... KFC CT-2 Tempest, which is a third-party Cyclonus. All right, let's cut the tape on this. Um, if you're new to the show, I have a couple tools. I have my pliers, I have my X-Acto knife, and then I always, always, always recommend have a pair of nail clippers that you j just use for opening toys, because it would be pretty disgusting if you have nail clippers that you use for your nails and then open your toys with. All right, so pretty easy to remove from the box. Instructions are on the bottom. They're not taped to the tray. It's a uh, two-piece plastic tray. It's in there pretty tight. The plastic tray is not taped down to itself. Okay. Pretty, uh, pretty generic. Uh, tray but it does the job there is no rattling very little rattling it's just the weapons moving around we can easily open it take out our toy we've got weapons and the target master and all is right in the world okay Pretty basic stuff. Very, very basic stuff. And I have a few other Tempest figures open, so I'm not going to bother transforming this one on on the show. Uh, I love the troop build, so 
Don't ask me how many Via Cons or sweeps I have. Instructions come in a uh, resealable plastic bag, generic bag, which I always appreciate because you can open them and then close the bag and you don't have to worry about ripping the bag. So that's always a nice thing. All right. So that's our third party figure that we're gonna compare it to. Let's move on to our masterpiece figure, Wheeljack. This is MP20 plus Wheeljack. This is the more show accurate Wheeljack. As you can tell, it's sealed. Let's cut the tape. Oh no, oh no, please don't cut me. Ah, oh, you bastard. All right, so. There's a flap on this, right? And I don't want to damage this box. This is the only MP20 that I have. So I don't want to stick my finger in here and create a crease in here. I take my X-Acto knife, I flip it around so that the cutting side is pointing away from the edge. I slide it in between and then I press. I press against the flap and I open it. And that allows me to open the flap and keep it nice and smooth intact. All right, let's take a look. Oh! Oh, it's a double box! So there's a box in a box. That's interesting. So, okay. This box is because this is a new version of Wheeljack, right? This pretty much is your standard MP box, right? And I'm guessing that this box comes in this box because this one is to advertise, hey, new version. This one is so you can put next to all your other MP boxes. So like, um, here. So hot rod, right? You can display the boxes together rather than having to display them like this. It seems a little unnecessary, but uh, it, it was a nice surprise. That's a happy little surprise. Something I would do. All right, so this one is, is sealed, so we're gonna cut the tape again on our wheel jack. That is a tight fit. So I'm gonna squeeze the sides a little bit. They always tell you never to cut towards yourself, but you know, if you're smart and you're careful, just be careful. All right, I've turned my blade over. I'm gonna slide it underneath the flap and press against the flap gently. All right, this one's a little tight, so I'm gonna go in on both sides. That way, this stays intact. I'm very particular about my boxes, but it's, look, if you go to sell your collection one day, that might be something that a buyer looks for. All right, instructions are not taped to the bottom. It's a two-piece tray, plastic tray, form-fitted, specific for this figure. Um, this bag is taped, so when we open this bag, usually there's damage. In this case, there isn't. Comes with a card, it's got instructions. Very nice, so this is the more animated, ac accurate, version and with this piece as is common on most double trays the top tray is sealed to the bottom tray so we're going to cut cut and is it yep usually it's all four sides all right tray comes off and now we have all our little goodies available to us We've got our wheel jack, packaged, of course, in vehicle mode to save us space. It's pretty nice, right? I'm pretty happy with that. All right, we've got a bunch of different little gizmos here and accessories, which is typical of the plus version of a Masterpiece toy. I'm gonna play with these later. Put these here. I'm gonna come back to that because right now we're more focused on sipping beer 
and opening toys and sipping beer. Beer, 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 beer. All right. So this is one of the newer Hasbro Select figures. So this comes in a... Uh, this could even be used as a shipping box. So this doubles as a box to hold the figure and a shipping box. You put a label on the back here. This is a pretty standard box for all deluxe size toys. Uh, it's one size fits all. The only discernible thing is the sticker that is used to seal. Now this is my first time opening a brown boxed generation select figure. I have, I have all of the ones that have been released so far. I just haven't got a chance to open them. So, when I first got these, I was getting two of each, thinking, all right, I'm going to open one, keep one sealed. But, uh, starting with the Power Dasher, I've decided to get one of each just because, I mean, there really is no difference other than this sticker. So, when I line it up, when I put this on the shelf, it's just going to be a bunch of brown boxes all next to each other, all right? All right, so what's the point? If I put it like that, that's not a very fun display. It's not a very cool thing. At least this way you have, you have uh, the branding of the IP. All right, so it's one sticker that's used to keep it shut. All right, let's go in. Now with this, you wanna go at an angle. That's gonna stop the sticker from crinkling up here at the end. So you just put it in. Go to, rather than go like this across, you wanna go like this across. Again, they're your toys. You open them the way you want to. No one should tell you what to do with your collection. I am just particular. So, it's a tray inside of a box. The tray comes out. Stickers, uh, I'm sorry, instructions are in the back. They are not in a bag. And again, this is the first time I'm opening a brown box generation select toy. But since it's a single tray, right, there's no top piece to keep this sealed, which I think, you know, for a generic box, it's not necessary. We're going to take our pliers. We're going to snip, snip these little wires. Snip. Now, you can use your, uh, as I said, have a set of toenail clippers around. Sometimes it makes it easier. Sometimes it's easier to get into the little uh, tighter areas of the figure. And there's our power dasher. He comes in robot mode. I think the deluxes are going to come all in robot mode just because, you know, a masterpiece figure, you know, compare the vehicle mode to the robot mode of this. If you were to transform this into a vehicle, you're looking at a much smaller thing, right? Not as impressive, you know, half the size of this box. This is more of a marketing thing to have this, this price point, this size toy in robot mode compared to this, which is a size saving thing. All right, so we've got our, our power dasher out. It's a cool figure. This is a remold of an existing toy. Did you ever think you'd get this in a generation line? Like, not like as a BotCon exclusive or anything, but like an actual generations figure? Crazy, 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 the times we live in. All right, how are we on time? Okay. There's, there's no one over there. All right, so Combat Hero Megatron. This is the, uh, I believe this was the Combiner Wars Megatron or the Titans Return Megatron. Yeah, one of the two. And this is decoed after an unreleased G2 Hero Megatron. A few samples are out there. It's a generic box, one size fits all. Uh, even though it's a Voyager, 
compared to a deluxe, it's still the same size box. Um, it's a Voyager figure, so I wonder if this comes in vehicle mode. All right, I'm gonna show this to you again. Rather than go across the top in a straight line like that, you can crinkle the stickers here when you get that first incision. I like to go at an angle. I don't know if this counts as cutting the tape as much as it counts as cutting the sticker. Oh, there he is in robot mode. And just like our Power Dasher, it's a one tray situation. Instructions on the back. All right. Let's see here. That is very cool. I love G2. It's got a, uh, a G2 Decepticon symbol on. Very cool. All right, let's free him from his plastic cage. This weapon has nothing holding it in. It's just a pressure fit. Snip, take out his barrel. Snip, snip. Now, you know, sometimes you can't get to something. You just flip it over, right? I remember the first time I opened an Armada Unicron and I pulled that thing out of the package and it was like a million and one of those metal twist ties. That, I think it took me an hour to free him from his cage. All right, that's pretty noisy. Are they all cut? Yeah. Just step right there. Stuck there. Okay. There he is. There's Megatron. Oh man, I love G2. I commend them for doing this. This totally could have been a Bacon figure. It's like even in scale with the uh, original G2 hero Megatron. Very, very cool. I like it. I like it. Do you, do you like it? He likes it too. Put him right there. Put him right there. All right. So we've opened two different generation select toys from two different time periods. Compare those to a masterpiece figure and compared that to a random third-party figure. Um, I think we'll end it there. That was pretty good. That was a pretty good show. All right. And even though I'm not gonna open this, this is Nightbird right here. Maybe we'll do that. Let's talk about another non-window box. All right, so this is Grotusk. This was a Hasbro Toy Shop exclusive or New York Comic Con exclusive. Some, some exclusive, I don't remember. This was an exclusive somewhere. I'd have to look it up. But it's a, a generic box. There's nothing, it's like a one size fits all on the outside, but on the inside, it's got unique printing. So it's got the cards here. The Hascon, RC came packaged like this too. It's got uh, schematics of the figure, of the headmaster, of the Scorponok headmaster, or Titan master. It opens up to reveal the figures. All right, the plastic tray is attached to the cardboard. It's all one piece of cardboard that is folded up together. This makes a cool display piece. You can have it out like this. Uh, but if you were to cut them open, it would. Uh, this box is still display well. Plus, you've got two cards that for your uh, Transformers trading card game, which were exclusive to this set. So, I don't know. Should we open this? I don't know. I have the Takara version, and I'm undecided. 
But you know what? The show wouldn't be cut the tape if we didn't cut something open. Snip. Well, we're committed now. Snip. 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 Ah, Grotusk is free. Grotusk was one of the Transformers I had as a kid. I was living in South America at the time, and my mom and I went on vacation to the island of Margarita, off the coast of Venezuela. And uh, she, uh, she treated me to three Transformers, and I got to pick the three Transformers I wanted. And on that trip, I got Grotusk. I got uh, who's the who's the other one? The dragon, the double-headed dragon, Double Cross. Is it? Is that his name? Grotusk, Double Cross, and Fortress Maximus. And you know what? All three of those are characters I never thought I'd see in generations. Not done to this degree. Maybe a repaint here or there somewhere. All right, so here, here's an interesting thing, right? So my clippers can't get to this figure. I've got a little screwdriver. I'm gonna slide the screwdriver underneath to lift up, I know it's really hard to see, but trust me, to lift up the plastic strip holding it down so I can get the clippers in there to cut it. That's what re that that happened. That was true. That really did happen. And here's Scorponok. That's a really good Scorponok hat. We just need a body for it. It's not fair that we got a head but no body. All right, we'll call it quits there. Thank you for joining me on Cut the Tape. I hope you found it interesting. Remember, it's never too late to cut the tape. Bye.